How to integrate MailChimp with Zapier quick and easy. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can integrate your MailChimp with a Zapier account. So let's get started. So the first of all, the first thing you need to do is the first thing first, as you need to create an account on MailChimp as I have already created. So after once you have created your account, you will see, you will see this page in front of you, which is the dashboard page. So as you're on the dashboard page, you need to go onto the integration options on the left corner right here. So as you're going to tap on integration, this page is going to be uh, loading in front of you. So over here, it is telling us that we can connect the tools that powers your business, which is a Shopify, Canva, QuickBooks and all that. So if we go down here, so yes, over here, you can see that we can uh, have all the integrations. Uh, so if I search over here, Zapier, wait a second. If I'm going to search over here, Zapier, so it's going to be uh, showing me the integration at Zapier. But right now it's not. So I'm going to be going to the other integration app, which is Zapier. So let me just uh, go over there. So this is the Zapier page. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is you also need to create an account on Zapier. Once you have created that, you need to go onto the dashboard. And on the dashboard, you can see over here written as Create Zap. So just tap on that. As soon as you're going to tap on Create Zap, this page is going to be appearing in front of you as it is loading. Um, it just will take a few seconds. So yes. Okay, so the first thing over here is a trigger. So a trigger is an event that starts your zap. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add a trigger over there. And the first thing is asking is a search an app. So just write over there MailChimp in the search apps bar. I'm going to be writing over there MailChimp. After I've written that, I just need to select that over there. And now it is asking us for an event. There are quite a few events like new campaign, email open, link clicked. Uh, I'm going to be tapping on new campaign. And after that, it's just going to be asking me to choose an account. So I'm going to be writing on choose an account. As you guys can see that already my MailChimp is connected, uh, is logged in onto my PC. So I'm just going to be connecting it by writing over here sign in. So as soon as I'll tap on sign in, so it's going to connect the Zapier to the MailChimp account uh, that is uh, logged into my PC or laptop. It's going to take a while. Wait a minute. So over here, now you just need to write in your credentials. Uh, so I'm going to do it real quick. So as you're reading your information, just tap on login. And as you will tap on login, um, your account will be connected to the uh, MailChimp. OK, wait a minute. Let me just go back to Zapier. And yes, so it's taking a while to sign in or to connect uh, to authorize your account. So as your account has been verified, the next thing it's going to be asking you is about the action. And once it is verified, there are going to be uh, some simple questions which it's going to ask you. And you just need to fill in that information. And after that, you will be able to link uh, to integrate your Zapier with the MailChimp. So that's how you can do that. Let me know in the comment section below if this video helped you guys. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.